had this thing apart and been looking at it and thinking about how it must operate. So I thought I'd explain how I think this thing works in case anybody's been curious about it and doesn't have their own theories on it. So what we've got essentially is this part is essentially a master cylinder. And instead of your foot pushing a pedal to push the master cylinder, this is what's inside here. And this rod is the equivalent of the push rod your regular master cylinder would have. And it pushes the piston in here. It's full of fluid, it comes out here and goes to your brakes. So just like a master cylinder. So where does the power part of this come from? Well, the power part is this, which is inside this vacuum chamber and it separates the vacuum chamber into two parts. When you apply vacuum from the engine to here, this goes directly into this side of the vacuum chamber. So this side of the vacuum chamber gets evacuated, right? And so if it's split in the middle like this, if you take all the air out of this side, this whole diaphragm is going to move forward. You know, this part's held in the crimp. The rest of it's just going to move forward because of the vacuum that's in here. And when that happened, that's all you did was apply vacuum here. And this move forward, it's going to put the brakes on because it's going to push that piston that's inside here. So we can't just put the vacuum on one side. That's not going to work. The point of this control valve, this piece, is that it controls, it goes in here like this. It's got these washers on it, which right now are not installed, but go here to seal it. And it goes down in here, and basically it determines whether there will be a vacuum inside this chamber when everything's assembled. That's what this valve does. It determines whether there's a vacuum in here or whether this chamber gets vented to the atmosphere. So when you're not pushing on the brakes, there'll be a vacuum in, in this part because of vacuum is sucked out of here, sucked out of the vacuum chamber, which is connected to this port. And so vacuum gets sucked out of this port, which is where this side is covering. So it tries to create a vacuum on this side and there's these holes through here. So it's trying to pull the vacuum from this side and it can create a vacuum in that side when it's in its neutral position because this poppet valve, which can go up and down, when it's up, there are seals on the other side you can't see because this is on. There are seals on the other side that close that to the outside. So this entire thing is closed to the outside when you're doing nothing with the brake pedal. So this entire assembly fills with vacuum. With, with one exception, there's this hole here for this. So when this attempts to fill with vacuum, this pipe is connected here, which takes the vacuum around to the other side over here. It fills this side of the vacuum chamber with vacuum. So what we have when everything is in neutral position and all assembled here, is vacuum comes in here or, or air gets pulled out of here, makes this side full of vacuum, which pulls vacuum through here, which fills this entire assembly with vacuum. And then this port on this side, through that pipe, fills the other side of this vacuum chamber with vacuum. So in the neutral position, vacuum, vacuum, nothing moves. It's just nothing's moving. And then what happens when you put your foot on the brake? Pressure goes in here. When the pressure goes in here, the other side of that, probably difficult to see down here, the pressure and the fluid, the pressurized fluid can try to come up here, out of this thing. Well, the thing that's stopping it from coming out is this piston, which has these rubber seals on it. 
So the rubber seals keep the fluid from coming out, but because they're trapping the fluid, it pushes that piston upwards, which makes this go backwards. And when this goes backwards, it closes this port here against this surface. So now the vacuum that otherwise used to be able to get pulled through this hole, that hole is sealed. So now vacuum can't get pulled in here. But not only that, it pushes this down, which opens the valve on the other side here. And that opens this side to the atmosphere. The net result is when this gets open to atmosphere, it vents the vacuum that was on this side through this pipe, which is connected to this, it vents it to atmosphere. So what happens when this side gets vented to atmosphere? Still got a vacuum on this side trying to pull this diaphragm this way. You no longer have a vacuum on this side preventing it. So the diaphragm moves this way. And that's when this push rod pushes against the pistons in here, piston in here and puts the brakes on. So that's, that's how these parts work together to become power brakes.